Hello, I'm Herrera, and this is Paul. Hi. Paul, Infocom 2022, what do you get out of it? What do you feel? I, I liked it. I think for me, the shows this year have not been about products. It's about meeting people, because I haven't done that for two years. So that's the really important bit of this. Obviously, there are reasons why we're not talking about products, and we all know them, it's the supply chain. But the important thing is seeing people again, reconnecting, talking to them about the last two years, talking to them about the next two years. That's been the important bit for me. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, calling in for common American show might be up for debate. It might not be fair, but it is in America. And hence, it's easy to meet Americans here. <laughs> um, I'm out with ABI SPL today uh, with uh, Verix. Um, obviously, they have global designs. They have expansion plans out in Asia Pacific. So it's really good for me to sit down and talk with the people that are driving these growth plans for them. And those conversations were really interesting. Um, there is still a product at the show, despite all the geopolitical and other situations around. Um, anything interesting that you saw? Yeah, I had a really interesting chat with Wayne Mason, who I know from old, um, from Neat. They're doing some really interesting things. They're making a lot of noise, literally. They had a sort of flash mob earlier on this morning. But it's a really interesting brand. That it's out of Norway. It's a lot of ex Hamburg people. They've got five products in the product line. That's it. And that simplicity is really cutting through. They've got this really nice board for meeting rooms that's kind of mobile. It's got a lovely kind of video speaker attached to the top of it, all in one unit. It looks great. They said there are lots of Chinese companies coming up and having a look and asking where who made it, where they were getting it made from. So there's a lot of interest. I think that's they're really cutting through at the moment for me. Yeah, and I'm, I'm seeing similar plays for the collaboration and communication uh, market. Um, a lot of products that I've seen kind of tend towards that um, newer form factors, form factors that expand the range of applications from two rooms, two room, two people rooms, four people rooms, eight people rooms, all the way up. Uh, Bose uh, kind of shrunk their uh, conference bar down and they have a new product there that I think is uh, something that might gain traction. But yeah, con collaboration, communication. There seems to be a lot of products out there for that. Yeah, it's funny you, you mentioned the kind of the bigger integrators there. I had a really interesting chat with Julian Phillips on the AVI SPL stand. They've got a really fascinating system, which is essentially it's VR, but it's like BIM, but in VR. So you can view a meeting room before it gets built and you can design it in the VR. Huge ramifications, I think. Huge cost savings available for this technology. Fantastic, I think. I saw it in action, got the th three minute demo. It's worth getting if you're still here. Really, really good. It's going to save loads of time. More importantly, it's going to save money because you can get the, you're going to get the design you want first time and it's exactly tailored to your requirements. The best thing as well is that it's, it, those kind of systems you'd think are only for sort of the top tier, huge kind of client, corporate banking customers. This thing is scalable. It can go to anyone. All you need is a headset, essentially. The, the software part, I think, will need more designing. Um, and you might need a sort of specific designer mm. to do that, but I was hugely impressed with that. I thought that was the, the ramifications for that. We've been talking about BIM for ages in the magazine, mm. about how important it is. This it really helps visualize it. I think that could be massive. Yeah, I caught it on your recommendation and I was not disappointed. Um, it seems like a really good way for an integrator to demonstrate the value they provide to your clients and, and really show to them, hey, option A is better because this is what happens if you go with option B. I thought it was a really slick product. Yeah, it's really interesting. It, you know, it can, it can help you choose sight lines, it can help you with the orientation of things, but also there's a, a, a great degree, you know, we're all hearing about flexibility. All clients want flexible rooms, flexibility in their systems. This really helps with that because it, you can see how a room can change in an hour or from a, a kind of sideways boardroom style to like a flexible huddle space type thing. It's, the, the, the applications for it, I think, are massive. Yeah, definitely agree. And with that, Paul, our Infocom journey comes to an end. I will bid you safe travels and hopefully catch you at the next Goodbye, one. Goodbye, Las Vegas. <laughs>